underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos, with Giselle St. James. For mature audiences only. Hello everyone and welcome to Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos. I am so excited about tonight. Listen, we're going to talk about some good things tonight, you know. So I want you to draw closer. You know, we always talk the things them the same way they're supposed to go. Every Monday, right here on YouTube, we always check in. And we always give a nice topic them where when we talk about it, you always leave enriched. So tonight is no different here on Bible Cufflinks and Stilettos. As you know, the objective of this show is to have open and honest, real and practical conversations around sexual issues, concerns and practices amongst faith-based couples for better relationship outcomes. Listen, we know sex is not the magic wand for all solutions. Listen to me. If you want your marriage to last, you know, say it more than just sex. But remember, me tell you, it show does help, especially if it's good. And on this show, we aim for you guys to have good sex as the Lord intended. Now, as you know, I am your host, Giselle St. James, seven-time erotic romance author and counselor responsible for bringing you the heat and the truth every Monday on YouTube, on the UME radio app, and on Carib Vision Mondays at 12 p.m. and Fridays at 11 p.m. Listen to me. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and remember, click that little notification bell right down there so you'll always get updates on when we go live again. So go ahead and let me know if you're here. I hope you're here with me because we have a lot to talk about. Coming up in our show tonight, we're looking at three sex questions the church won't answer. So draw a little closer. Come on, come on, come closer. Come closer because we are about to talk the things them. Listen, what are some of those things you feel that the church has remained silent on as it relates to sex? Have you been desperately trying to find answers here eh, from a biblical perspective on some topics out there, but you have been unable to find them at your church? Let's reason together. Come on, join the conversation. Are you ready to talk with me? Are you ready to talk with me about this thing? Yes, yes. You have to be ready to talk with me because listen to me. We all know and we've all been there where we have some questions but there are no answers. And, you know, we'll go to the leaders and the leaders don't have no answers for us. And we'll go to the church mothers and the church mother, the more than an answer for we. We're going to the Bible and sometimes we're confused as to what the Bible is saying. So we're going to look at some of those questions and even see if we can answer those questions as well. I also have a special guest here with me tonight. She is our returning guest. And she's also um, the person who is responsible for having this show on. Welcome, Dr. Faith. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello. How are everybody doing today? Yes, we are good. We are good. And so excited to have you here. Yes. And to really talk about these things, you know. We Love really need it. to talk about these questions. <laughs> We're getting started me. again. So. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Listen, but you know, before we get into that lady faith, lady faith, we have to do our self check yes. exercise, of course. Listen That's to me, good. I want you to take a deep breath in and Ooh. out. Come on. And you are going to repeat after me, or are you going to say it in your mind? I am present and in the moment. I am present and in the moment. I welcome the information that will be presented tonight with an open mind. Yes. I am ready to learn. To please with my partner. Okay. Yes. I am committed to pleasing my partner. Well, I can't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, no partner yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right. I will. I am ready to learn and to practice. I will comment and share my experiences to enhance tonight's session. Okay. I am ready. You ready? You ready? <laughs> You're ready. You're ready. Uh, Cause I'm ready, guys. I'm always ready to talk about it. But remember, we have to start it with prayer. So let us go yes. to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we are just thankful for you right now. We are just loving on you, and we're just honoring you right now. Lord, we thank you for what will be done, what will be said, Lord, and what will be discussed in tonight's show lord these questions are important and i'm sure that you know our viewers will have so many more questions to ask and i pray that lord god you will give them the bravery and the boldness to really ask those questions because here we are now we are resources and we'll be able to really capture what it is that they want to say and really deal with it in a meaningful way. Lord God, I pray for an enriching session. God, I pray, Lord God, that lives will be touched and that, Lord God, questions will be answered in the name of Jesus. And mighty God, if needs be, God, I pray that binds will be broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything that you will be doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 amen 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 all right i want to go into our scripture because you know with what we are discussing about the whole idea of questions sex questions that mm -hmm. the church won't answer we yeah. have to understand where they would be coming from if they're going to be providing an answer any at all so right. tonight's scripture is taken from second timothy 3 verses 16 and 17 and it reads all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Can you wow. repeat the scripture again? I didn't, I didn't hear it. It you. says, 2 Timothy 3, yes. verses okay. 16 to 17. Oh, second All Timothy. scripture, yes. Okay. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works powerful scripture to remind us where it is that we really and truly get our inspiration and our answers from amen now let me just give everybody a little background a lot of the times when we ask what the bible says about sex we mostly find scriptures condemning sexual immorality and if you look through and through the bible old testament new testament you will find a lot of it condemning sexual immorality not saying that it's all of it but most of it is talking about how we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to do and all of that and if we we do this we are sinning and da 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 most of it for the most part we are faced with that whole thou shall not rather than a definitive answer as to what we should do right then when we turn to our church and the leaders we entrust with our spiritual grooming, sometimes we run into a roadblock of a roadblock of sorts where we hear that is wrong or don't do it, or sometimes we are met with deafening silence. Listen, Lady Faith, I remember when I was about 18 years old, I was in dialogue with two male church leaders, right? I shared my opinion that, you know, being a Christian is like, you know, Mar being married now i made all of the references and the metaphors and all of that and the whole the whole beginning phase and the butterfly phase and everything i felt it was so on point because really and truly if you think about it when you are married the work you have to put in is the same kind of work you have to put in when you become a christian yeah, so right. i am there making all of my metaphors lady faith and in my mind they all made sense right now i know even now 
as I stand here, I know they made sense. But you know what these men said to me, Lady Faith? Them asked me, have you ever been married? So what do you know? <laughs> and then, you know, on top of it, they gave me this condescending little chuckle. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, do you know what that did for a young man trying to live right and serve the Lord? I felt so defeated, Lady Faith. Course, there was no guidance given to me. Yeah. Just ridicule. You get what I'm saying? Yes. And how, how, how old were you when that happened? Mm -hmm. How old were you? How old were you? When I, was you 18. I was 18. I was 18 when I asked. Yeah, big woman. Yeah, woman. Yeah, big woman. Yeah, woman. Yeah, woman. You know, so I am talking and I, I am sharing my experience as a Christian and I'm I'm looking at it from a marriage perspective and I'm looking at it saying that, listen to me, the same work when my fair put in for try to live right, the same work people, man and woman have to put yes, in when they're true. married. And yeah. I was met with ridicule and condescension. And that is what a lot of young people face in the church today, especially when they ask questions about sex and sexuality. They are met with what? Silence and condemnation. Now, because of the church's silence, it has given way to the world and their voice, don't it? Which has allowed sex to become something dark and yep. taboo. That's right. That's right. You get what I'm saying? Now, Andrew Lee, in a blog post that he made, three things the church probably didn't teach you about sex. He says, the church has spent so much of its energy warning against sexual sin among high school youth groups that mm -hmm. this has left many young adults entering into marriage somewhat in the dark about and very hesitant and wary even to fully embrace the fullness of a sexual relationship. Them afraid of sex. Them don't want to have it. Them, them feel like say, them do certain things. It's wrong and they feel so, 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 so low about what psychologically kind of messed sex. up. Psychologically, um, psychologically messed up. up. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But why does this have to be Lady Faith? If God is good all the time, and if God created sex, which is good, and I'm talking about good as in God's inherent goodness, not good as in it's stellar. And we all know that sex is stellar. <laughs> Come on, that sex is good all the time. Good. Then shouldn't we feel comfortable talking about sex more often than we do in our churches? We should be. Yeah. You know? And I just want to say good evening to everybody. On, good evening, uh, good evening, good evening. Lady James, and everybody well, that's you. on Carib Vision and everywhere listening around the world. Very nice to be here on this evening. And uh, as you're talking about that, uh, when you were 18 years old, you asked that question, and they gave you the runaround. The, mm -hmm. the thing that came to mind, they did not know. <laughs> they wow. Don't know. Wow. They can't share something with you that they don't know. Don't know. Wow. They're not experiencing other stuff you asked about. You just went way over their head. You are way ahead of their time. They have no clue what you're talking about. So they tell you, you know, go sit down somewhere because mm -hmm. that will answer your question because no, I we don't know never what you're even thought of that. And most likely you were giving them information and you didn't even know it. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even think of it that way. And you're probably going to go home and research it too. <laughs> wow. I didn't even think of it that way. So it could be that the reason for the silence is that some of these people just don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. A lot of things wow. they don't know. Because as I've always said, you know, culture forms a lot of our opinions about mm -hmm. sexual, anything in life basically culture forms it and the mm -hmm. church so religion more like a religion is man-made so there's a difference mm -hmm. between relationship and religion so when mm -hmm. religion is telling you you can't do this you can't do that okay it's all see what i found as i evolved and grew and you know went to another place to learn about the word of god i realized that a lot of it was um they were they were in fear about a lot of mm -hmm. things about their yeah. thoughts. Yes. Okay. Yes. And yes. They were afraid to think certain things, afraid mm. to do certain things. And I also realized too that they they read the Bible, 
but didn't really in a way where they can get understanding. Mm. Okay. And then and yes. if, and if they didn't understand, then he asked God for clarity. Mm -hmm. They just read it mm -hmm. to be reading it and yes. then form their own opinions of what they think it should be. Yes, yes. It's not what yes. it's saying biblically, because if you take the word of God and do it line for line and do it exactly what it says, it will work. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. you take out pieces of it and add your own ideology. Interpretation, to, yes, yes, yes. To justify yes. what something that you're lacking within yourself. Ooh. Okay. Mm. And because you're lacking certain things, you're telling people not to do it. Do it. Mm. Because you're in fear of it yourself. Yes. Yes. Wow. I, I love that. How I came up to this when I'm, you know, because in my house, you couldn't talk about sex. My father was a minister. You could not mention the word sex. You mentioned the word sex. You're totally disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. You know, and after a while, I said, you know, then I saw how the world was doing it, you know, was just exploiting it, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I, I remember Dr. Ruth, Dr. Ruth, the little German lady, she used to um, really um, talk about it so openly. So when I yes. heard her, I said, Lord, I want to be just like that lady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. How to find yes. two some of the girl because she just went to some other areas. But I had to find two some. I said, I want to be just like just to openly talk about it. So mm -hmm. I began to read books on it because I said, Lord, if I ever get married one day and if my husband is a virgin, we ain't going to be sitting and looking at each other like sitting ducks. Like, we're not, we're not, know what we're doing. We got, no, exactly. I'm like, I'm not going to sit there <laughs> looking at him. How are you looking at me? Because I'm not just going to do a missionary position because that's all they talk exactly. about. Exactly. Mm -mm. Wine, bam, mm -mm. thank you, ma'am. And, and, and they mm -mm. all talk about, remember the scripture says in Genesis, that we must multiply, be fruitful, multiply, replenish yes, earth. Yes. So they think that's all sex is about. That's all it's just about. Have kids and just wham bam, thank you, ma'am, and that's it. They don't touch each other. They don't play mm -hmm. with each other. They don't do nothing with each other. You know, so yeah. I said, God, I'm going to read some stuff. So I started educating myself. I was reading yes. all kind of books on sex. That's I went to right. I believe I was, because at that time, they didn't have internet like how they have it now. And I was reading mm -hmm. books at the books at the books, and I was reading the scripture because they were telling you that uh you have to know how to satisfy your husband. That's what they make it se like sex mm -hmm. was the most important thing in marriage. This is what they put, you know. This is what they yeah. say, and you shouldn't commit fornication. Or, you mm -hmm. know, you must have sex outside. So they push you into getting married. I mean, married, yeah. Months, all kind of crazy stuff is going on. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking that that sex is so you're studying all the stuff, and then when you get into the marriage. I said, wait a second. We're doing the sex, yes. It, it, it's nice, but then you don't talk to me. Yeah. And you only talk to me when we're having sex. But other than yeah. that, so so then I realized after I said, Oh my god, I was lying to. Mm. Okay. A uh, uh, marital is 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 a lot more communication openly as well as sexual. Yes. sexually, yes. Yes. In the, uh, 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 um, out of your, you know, your mouth verbally. And mm -hmm. sexual intercourse. Yeah. Well, yeah. When you got yeah. one high and the other one low, then low. you create imbalance. So therefore you have issues in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So even if you have yes. the sex is good, other parts of the marriage is not working. working. So then yeah. everything's falling apart. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it, you know, then I started real I said, but Lord, it's it's communicating in, in all areas. Yes. You know? yes. And, and then understand that. Then I sort of realized that too, sex is a beautiful thing. And it's not even so much sex. It's making love. It's making love. It's a ministry. Yes. It's a exactly. worship. Yes. Exactly. Because when, when you read the scripture, Jesus, you know, all through the scriptures, Jesus is making love to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you read yeah. Songs of Solomon, that's a love Ooh. scripture. Yes, yes, and, and, yes. And just really embracing us because when, when you when you learn to get into that intimacy level with God, it becomes us. I've been there. It becomes a sexual energy when you mm. have that that intertwinedness with the Lord. Get into that level of mm. worship. And how many how many of us are there? How many how many of us experience those levels? Because I mm. always said, said, when you are submissive, when a man is submissive to God, 
you know, then that submissive, then the woman can be submissive because she see a husband being led by the spirit. And that way yes. that marriage can come together so that we, we can openly talk about things, openly mm. discuss issues. And, yes. and a lot of things too, what I learned is the fact that uh, there was so much sexual abuses in the church. Ooh. You know, talk so, about it. Yes. I mean, so yeah. you know, to create a lot of stuff and you couldn't talk about talk about nothing. The mm -hmm. touching you, you couldn't talk about, so all that stuff just mess up everything. Yes, 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 yes. You know, so then you can understand now why when some women get married, they don't, they become afraid because the fear, like I said, it's all fear. Mm. You know, as I was sharing with you when you were talking those, you know, talking to the minister and he couldn't answer you. It's all fear. It's, it's a lot of things. Fear. They already condition your mind. You ever see, but I know when we did the bachelor's degree, you had the the Pavlov or the, or the dog mm -hmm. sound. Or the dog sound. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the conditioning. That's what they condition mm -hmm. your mind. Yes. To, to just channel in, in one area. So you kind of lose the essence and the mm. beauty of, of what sex. making yeah. love or sex is all wow. about. Wow. You know, you, 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 wow. You don't, you don't know where to go with this you know wow. and then oh somebody talk about his masturbation this yeah thing, that, thing. that is one of the number one that's questions a, oh my goodness. that's a number that's, one that's question a, that they even, are yes. silent on yes you can't talk about it you can't you, can. do it. you can't ask you no can. question dealing with that at all Again, and it they almost know. feels, it almost feels, Lady Faith, like they're saying that you're not supposed to ask about it because you're not supposed to have sexual desires yeah. until you're married. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, it, it, it don't make sense. I mean, you are feeling. You're yes. Feeling. Yes. Feeling. You know, because I, I tell you, I was married and then I'm not married now. And I'm saying, Lord, you're going to have to keep me because I've been mm -hmm. married. So you're going to have to yeah, keep me. Yeah, that part. That part. That's how I'm. I, that is how I, I. I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, I'm a widow now. God, woo! I knew what it was like. Yes, What's exactly. Up? Exactly. What's up? Exactly. Exactly. Man, you know, and people wouldn't under, understand that it's so difficult it is because difficult. it's it, it's already difficult before you have that person and you know yes. you're feeling all of these feelings, but it's so much more difficult when you have had it. Yes, and you're not getting it anymore. Anymore, you know. So well, yes. What do so, you do? Yes. Yeah, so ma masturbation. We gotta let's define it. What it yes. is. Yes. You know, yes, and, uh, yes, 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 know, I, yes. I had so I just let me I looked it up here. Just go ahead. Some, you know, it says it's a healthy sexual. It said uh, the benefits of it says benefits of ma uh, masturbation. Let me just go back up here. Masturbation is a common activity which involves touching the genitals or other sensitive areas of the body for sexual arousal or pleasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, masturbation, mm -hmm. a natural and safe way to explore your body feel pleasure and release built up sexual tension mm -hmm, it occurs among mm -hmm. people of all backgrounds genders and races in fact one study in older adults estimated that between 27 to 40 percent of women and 40 41 to 65 percent of men reported masturbating within the past month interesting oh despite the myths there are actually no physically harmful side effects of masturbation sometimes excessive or compulsive masturbation can be considered harmful or lead to other mental health concerns mm -hmm. okay so Sexual one thing addiction yes. when i do agree with that because see but you see you got to know how to really balance don't go crazy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay don't go overboard all right. Right. Uh, because right. If, if you're going to go overboard now, when you finally get into a marriage relationship, you don't get so used to pleasuring yourself. Yourself. You know, you're the man. Exactly. 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 I don't know if you, exactly. if you heard um, Will Smith's wife when she was at the red table. She mm. was talking with her hus husband sitting in that poor man. She mm. just reduces masculinity, sexuality. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nothing. my goodness. He said, you know. Um, I don't really, she don't really need her husband to 
satisfy her to please her. So wow. she could herself. I said, get out of here. Wow, said, girl. Baby. You don't need Come your husband for you master. See, that, that's just what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah. So they asked if masturbation is sin. I'm not going to say yes, and I'm not going to say no. Because right. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let me let me let me bring it to to how um, some persons see it. Thanks for watching. Please join us next time for the continuation of this episode. Stay tuned. Underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos with Giselle St. James for mature audiences only.